Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19. We're here on the Alps Panorama at the Northern Sea map and we're playing with Seasons. We've just had a rather wonderful short break. We've done a little bit of uh, surfing, a little bit of swimming. We even built a sandcastle, but now we need to head back and get on with our work. Hang on, are we supposed to, I think we're supposed to have Euros on this one. We'll leave it on here for now. We'll, we'll leave it like we got it. Now, if I bring you over, which way does that go? I need that to be... It's the wrong way around. Okay, well... Bring you out over there. And I'll hook you on. And you're actually facing the wrong way. I've got to get that one... Yeah, I, I actually, all i got to do is i got to drive through the other door... And then get this one lined up. Alright, so I'm going to drive in through this door here. And hopefully get that trailer lined up in front of... Except that I'm trying to swing out round there, which is not helpful. And I want to get that trailer in front of that header. Without demolishing the header, without demolishing the front desk either. I really wish that this stuff didn't get put in here. I've got the delivery thing, but I don't want to have to use the delivery thing. Like, honestly, this is... Um, every now and then, like, I like this map, okay? Don't get me wrong, I like the map. I'm not saying I don't like the map, but I am saying that there are a couple of design flaws of this map that are honestly something that would have shown up under basic testing. You would think that this kind of thing would show up under basic testing. The fact that it hasn't shown up indicates perhaps the person who made this map didn't test it as thoroughly as they should have done. Because there's no way that you should be having a great big header like this delivered inside the shop with no... Like, I can't get this out. See? I'm stuck in here with this header with no actual way to get it out unless I shunt things around like I'm doing at the moment. And you shouldn't have to do that. So I've either got to get a mod that delivers the... I mean, I do have a mod that delivers stuff. And so we'll probably end up using that so that we can deliver something... Deliver our things elsewhere. But... I shouldn't need to do that. I feel that that is a thing that I shouldn't need to do. So I'm, I'm disappointed with this. This aspect here on the map, I am disappointed with that. that there's definitely lost points for that. And I want to now... Lower that one. Oops. I meant to lower it down and then unhitch, not just like dump it casually onto the ground like that. Let's see if we can get this thing out of here. So our next task is we've got to get it out of the shop. Which it shouldn't even be in in the first place. It should not be in this shop. Helper F is blocked. Right, well, I can't even hook you on at the moment. Oh, I, I'm going to come back to that because that was just, <laughs> just going to start irritating me. Because the reason it's going to irritate me is because that's like... A really, really simple thing that would show up under just about everything. Yeah, and any kind of... There's a real serious lack of testing gone on in order to overlook something that basic. And that... It annoys me, that does. I mean, if you spend all the time and effort making a map, there's some things that you you would test before you start out. And yeah, I appreciate that there's a lot of stuff that can easily get overlooked and missed during testing. But something that simple, honest, like, let's go to the shop a minute. Let's, let's just go over to the shop. Let's just take a look at this, right? We'll go over to the shop over here. Now, you look at this shop, okay? You've got this shop. You've got it positioned out. You can see where we're placing the machinery. You have to choose when you're building the map, don't you, where to place the stuff. So we deliberately chose to place things inside the shop. Whoever made this map deliberately decided, yes, I want to place things inside this shop. Now, if you're deliberately placing things in there, is it not going to occur to you that stuff can't get out? That's that's what annoys me about things like that, is that that's like, it's, it's a very, very simple, small thing that is obvious. I, I, I don't really know. Is it... Is it not? Of, I mean, maybe it's not. Maybe I'm being unusual. Maybe I'm being unnecessarily harsh, and it is not actually obvious at all. It's uh, a really simple thing. But honestly, that's um, it's those little mistakes that really, really put me off a map 
I, uh, I, I can put up with things like... Uh, you've got things like floating trees. That's fine. I don't care about floating trees. Floating trees happen. That's a really small thing. Really, really easy to overlook. It's something that could easily be missed in a hundred places. You've got things like a trigger not working properly on um, a, 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 a silo. See, we've got a lime silo right there and I'm just gonna have a look on the map we got any others now you got a fuel station over there you've got a couple of houses around and we've got another fuel station over there another lime station say one of the triggers wasn't working properly on the lime station and yeah you you know it should be a thing that's tested um but I could forgive that being overlooked but something like this this seems like something that is uh, I I don't know it, it just it just sort of goes beyond a, a simple small error and and becomes a m serious inconvenience certainly for people who are using it. I'm thinking I know a way around this actually. What I'm going to do in order that we don't have this problem in the future. Yeah right. Okay. So I've got the. Huh. That's why we're having so much trouble. The header doesn't even fit on there properly. I mean, that's not the that's nothing to do with the person creating the map, but trying. Hmm. Yeah. Um. You know what? You know what? You know? No. 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 This is this has just infuriated me too much. This is um big big down points for this. Big big down points. Right, there's definitely lost a lot of points on this. This is unacceptable. Completely unacceptable. It shouldn't have it shouldn't have even been in that shop in the first place, so this shouldn't have been an issue. Do I want to reset? Yes. Now, where have I reset it to? Let's just <laughs> Okay, I've reset it into the that's fine. That's fine. Let's just drag this thing out of the shop. Come on. Let's get you. We bring you up over here, and then we get that header, and we will drag it, sorry carcass, out of this building, and then we can do something else about this. We can get this sorted out. The the actual header on the trailer, uh, this is obviously us. Uh, my, oh right, right. It's it's not wanting to pick that one up very well. It should be able to pick it up on this combine. At least I think it should. Let's go to there a second. Unfold, disable, straw swath. Ah. Right, well, if I disable the straw swath, that certainly makes that bit a little bit easier. But no, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you in here like this. There. Uh, pick you up like that. And... I'm going to shunt you round like this. There. Go a little bit further. I've got there. I do have the shop delivery mod. I've got the mod that will deliver stuff from the shop to us over at the farm. I want to, but I'd kind of like to try and get this going without using that to start with at least. So we'll move the header back a little bit from the front of the header trailer. Then I need to hit the actual header trailer a little bit and push it into place because the hitch is in the wrong spot. That's not going to do it. So I've got to move that around again. I'm not going to reset it in the shop because that's just going to mess it up completely. Right, let's do that. We've now got that one set up in roughly the right place. I should be able to just squeeze in past... There we go. Squeeze in past there. And I can back up here. I can load that one on. And it's now far enough forward that it's not going to cause any issues. I'm not even going to attempt to do anything else other than drive straight up here. Like that. And we're going to go there. Right. Now, next... To stop you a second and then I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna go to front weights over here and I'm gonna go to the lizard barrel weight that's the one I'm gonna go for and without a trailer hitch oh, I see right well I'm gonna buy one of those yes so there's a red one uh, I'm gonna go for a yellow one I'm gonna go for a green one I'm gonna go for a pink one 
and a rob robber i don't know what that one is uh no let's not do that one yet let's go orange and then we go with a fent nature green and then we go with uh, another red and then we go with a dark blue let's have a look Not quite enough of them in there yet. I'll jump out. I'm going to leave that combine right there. That's fine up there because we're not doing anything with that field for a minute. So we've got those over to there. We want to go... Oh, I know. I There's another one that I haven't got. There is another one. We go to weights in here. We go over to the barrel weight like that. And I go here. Purple. I don't have a purple one yet. Like that. And... Hmm... Let's go with a brown one on the end. I think that will be all of them in there. Right. Why have I got those two right next to each other like that? And then I've got the brown one there. There shouldn't be any more of these items. I mean... Okay, that really bugs me that that purple one is out of line with all the rest. It seems a little bit strad. I don't know why it's... Unless it's because of how... I bought it because I, I went out and then I came back in. So maybe that made a difference. I don't really know. Uh, Azul. We get a garlic one. There. Buy that one. And... Right, the garlic one fit as well. I get one more yellow one out on the end. That's probably going to be all of it. This should stop us from being able to... Anything we buy shouldn't go in here now. Right, that lizard... Why is that now... That's that's not the one that I was using, is it? No, it's not. That's the one I was using. There. Different colour. I haven't got a black one, actually. But no, I'm going to get another yellow. I'm going to go with a challenger yellow on that one. There. And that one doesn't fit in here. The challenger yellow should be out over that side. It's not in there. I'm now not able to get any machines placed inside that shed. And there is the challenger yellow one right there. Um... Where's the sell point? We'll worry about selling that another time. We're not going to do that now. Right. You stay there. As can... Oh, actually, there's one other thing I want to do. I want to go and take this for a little drive. I want to go up the top and I want to check the trees up here. So we want to go out this way. Because we're now talking about turning some of these fields into one field. Not these down here. These are going to stay exactly as they are. What we're talking about is going up here and turning these into one field. We've got the road going along the bottom, but this track that goes up here, if we were to plough this track in, that one on the corner, that can stay there. If I was to plough this track in and we were to use this field as one massive great big field, we've got two trees right there. I'm thinking those two trees could be gotten rid of. And what we could actually do is we could also, we could plough up this gravel track that's right here and get rid of those trees and then two more trees over there and all of those trees in the middle and we've basically got one huge monstrous field. We won't do the huge monstrous field yet. We may come out and make that into a bigger monstrous field later. I will get rid of those two trees and we won't do a little thin strip of grass up here. We'll do all of that into one great big field all the way through. And then that's kind of our big field. That's going to be the wheat field. We don't need to worry about it just yet. We'll go back over to the John Deere a second. And we'll finish ploughing that field. Then we'll get the fence. We'll go up and hoover up those couple of trees that we got left at the top. And then after that, I'm not really sure. So let's just bring you down there a second. Stop you there. And we run over this way. Nope, not you. I want to go to that John Deere. Right, leave that one. Uh, nope, nope, nope. I'm going to go to you. There's that one over there. It's actually very nearly almost finished doing the cultivating over on the field over there. So we'll be able to park that one up in a minute. I'm going to... Actually, I'm just going to start in the middle like this. And I've lowered it down. Allow create fields like that. And... 
I'm going to sort of slowly expand out on the sides of the field as we go along. So I don't want to go over that track there. That track's going to stay. So I don't want to get rid of that one. Oops. Yeah, that was badly judged there. That, that, was, that was poor driving on my part. Poor judgment. That little kink bit up through the side there, that dog's leg bit, is going to stay exactly as it is. It's not going to change. And then we'll come over this way. Just pull that line around like that. There we go. Right, that's actually working quite nicely there. I like that. I like the feel of the size of the field, and I'm not too tight to the road either, I don't think. So that's good, and then we'll cut across this corner like this, because I don't want to be doing that too sharp, going up through there. And then I'll bring you along here. It is a bit tight to that track that goes up over the top of that bridge, but actually I'm thinking that it's not too tight. It's a little bit, but it's not too tight. I think that's actually going to work out all right. And then you come up there. So that is the outside edge all marked exactly where it should be. I'm liking this. So then we've got a nice, tidy, small field right here. And all i got to do is just very quickly fill in the middle. The cultivator up the top is just about done. So that one can come down this bottom end. And do the little edge bit, just the, the, the bottom edge of the field down here. And then we'll stick it into this little field here. It's not got a lot to do on this little field, admittedly. But it won't take it long. Now, oddly, we've got a little bit of fertilizer, by the look of it, in the middle of the field. Unless that's something to do with the moisture. Whether that is, like, whether the moisture works, like, in just in patchy areas in the game. I'm, I'm not quite sure with soil moisture, because uh, that's uh, a thing with the seasons, that it affects everything, doesn't it? So I'm, I'm not quite sure about that. We'll wait. We'll see. But I suspect there's actually just a little bit of fertilizer. I can actually, I can have a look in a second, can't I? If we just bring this one round and bring it right round like that. There. So I got all of that bit. It seems to be the same shape as my cultivator. My, um, uh, rot not rotary plow, disc plow, disc plow, that's what this is, isn't it? It's a disc plow. Um, it seems to be the same shape as a disc plow, so I'm wondering if it's the bit where I started up with, um, not having uh, the allow create fields on to begin with and I'm wondering if that affected it somehow if it made it sort of respond like that now let me lift you up a second and then we go into here uh, fruit types growth right there remove that bit and there you have it so we got these little circles where there's no grass but that I believe is the cultivator that's what's done that bit it's the cultivator the road there you can see slightly off on the map that's all right that's, that's no it's no big hardship, no problem. And I'm done with these fields here. Those over that side we're not touching this season. We're going to go up over there. That's the last field that we're going to deal with. So I want to fold this one up. And then once this one's folded up, we'll go... We'll drive it in through the main yard. And we'll start heading up towards that field. But before we actually get up there, we've got a few other bits that we want to go and do first. Uh, we need to get that cultivator and bring that one down here so it's doing a bit of work and then we got to get this imt right here and do some work with that one we've got to start planting grass so all the fields around here have got grass planted in them and then next year the big grass field that one's going to end up having something different planted it's going to have the corn planted in it right you are coming up there yeah, you can keep going. And I know, I, I know that there's going to be some people commenting and saying, well, look, you don't actually have to do that, Frith. Why are you doing the cultivating? You can just go straight over. I know that. The cultivator, the, the planter that we've got right here doesn't have very much in a way of ability to break down the soil. It will a bit because it's got those discs. It's not going to do a massive amount. So you've got to keep that into account when you're sort of trying to decide these things. Um... Now, I'm not going to go all the way around the edge of the field with this one. Because I don't think we really need to. We've done... We've cultivated the field. I feel happy that we've gone through and we've cultivated the field. You wouldn't just go straight in planting after you've done cultivating. You, uh, after you've done plowing, sorry. You wouldn't just go straight plow and then plant. Well, not normally, anyway. Um, yes, 
There absolutely are going to be some situations where that would happen, but this is not one of those situations. Right. Set the hired help going on there. And it's going to go and do that little short edge there. So while it's doing that, I'm going to take this one. And we're going to start planting our grass. And I'm going to take this one over to the other end. I'm not going to do the outside. Actually, saying I'm not going to do the outside edges, I'm going to do a bit of an outside edge. I'm going to get to here. The cultivator is not going to be in our way on this bit. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to do once round and then I'm going to go back across the top so that we don't have the vehicle getting itself stuck on the rocks up there. It does have this, we've already seen, it seems to have this habit of trying to drive up across the stones. And we don't really want it to do that. So if we drive backwards and forwards there, it should have enough room to be able to turn at the bottom of the hill without needing to do it. And we'll come around there. I suppose I could have cleaned that bit off a little bit better. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. The edge of the field there, it's, it's absolutely fine. We don't need to do any more than that. I'm hoping also that it's not going to drive into the pond. We didn't actually look at that with the other tractor. So we will look at it with this one once we've gone and done our little bit of edge work. Like I say, I'm not going to do much. we go back and I'll tidy up the edges afterwards. I think that's probably a better approach to it. And get this one to go along the top there. Once this one's going, the next thing we'll do is get the fence again and we'll get our machine that we've got on the front, the, the grinder type machine. And we'll go up and we'll take out a couple of those trees that are just on the track and then we can start plowing up the big field. That big field will get expanded next year. We will make that bigger and we can... See, I don't know if we can do that. Maybe We might be able to do that in the autumn. Whether we can do that, we, although I'm thinking we'll wait until we'll wait until spring for that one, because then you know we we're sort of I'd like to be able to get through the first year as rapidly as possible, just so that we can get an idea of what the game looks like as you go through all of the seasons, and then we can come back around and we can sort of play around with other bits and pieces of it later on. But we sort of by that point, then we've established what all the seasons are like, what it's, um, what the trees do as we go through the seasons, uh, how the crops look, and we've we've got our initial sort of taster of the whole mod, and then we can start getting into things a lot more seriously as time goes on. Now, which way am I going to do this? All right, we kind of went with diagonals on there, and. And I'm looking up through here and I'm thinking that I could just keep going in that same direction. Just run with this field edge that we've got here. Uh, right there. But that leaves bits of the field kind of open. So maybe it would be better just to bring that one back around there like that. Doing a terrible job of reversing this. I'm also reversing this with the seed drill down in the ground, which is probably not the best way to do it. We'll do it at this angle. If I do it at this angle, it should then be able to cover almost the entire field. It, like, as we get round to the other side of the pond and the farm, it should also cover all of that bit as well. At least that's what I'm hoping. Uh, it just depends if it sort of gets part way through and then decides, actually, you know what, I've had enough, and says, job done. It shouldn't do. What are you doing now? It's currently planting this field. I'm not quite sure why you feel the need to plant this field, considering that this field is already planted. You fool. Uh, I'm, I'm going to have to nurse this. It, it, it shouldn't have done that. That field is planted with grass, so it shouldn't have done it, unless it's... Press H on there. we go back over this way. We're going to soil composition growth. We're over this side. Right, well, it should just be planting with grass in there, and it shouldn't be doing anything else. We've got to actually put grass in like that, and then we go back through. So here, it's planted. We haven't got germination failed on any of it. We've just got yellow on there. There's no reason that that should come up with any issues. You've come up with issues. But then I suppose I... What I don't understand is why it's ploughing over the grass that I've already planted. Like, I've put grass in there, and it's now going over that as though that grass doesn't exist. 
which seems a bit of an odd thing for it to do. Right, it shouldn't have gone that far. I'm wondering... It's, all, it's, it's definitely... It, it's not going to be the Seasons is doing that, is it? That's got to be another one of these tractors. It's, it's got to be something to do with one of these other mods that we've got. Because I don't remember having this four-wheel drive thing on here before. I think that came from this weekend's um, live stream. So I need to find out what mod that is and maybe disable it. It might be that that one's causing us an issue. Start you there. Go through. But it should recognise that we've got grass planted and then it shouldn't need to go any further than that. It should literally just stop at the grass and then turn round and go back the other way. But no, that's gone right to the edge of the field there. It's lifted. It's... No. Right, it's... For whatever reason, it cannot tell that the grass has already been planted on there. I've planted grass on there, but it doesn't seem to recognise that it's there. It's going straight over the top of it and it's planting it again. We know that shouldn't happen. And the only difference I've got between now and last week is this tractor thing with the four-wheel drive and stuff. So I'm blaming that one. That's, that's, where, that's where I'm... Look, look, see? That should not be happening. That definitely shouldn't be happening. Okay. So you've gone to there. Now you're turning round. And it's going to go back over. And we know that it's going to try and go over the same field again. So we don't really want it to do that. But this bit here. I don't understand this. What's it? Yeah. And it's putting... Oh no, it's putting fertiliser down. But it wasn't putting grass seed down. It is once it's out here. But when it's over... It's because of the fact that it's not got the fertiliser on, isn't it? Although, no, that's got fertiliser on the edge there. And that's now got a double layer of fertiliser all the way around there. Now it's turning round. Okay, that's good. It's going to avoid that field. It's going to turn round and it's going to go and do what it's supposed to do, which is not mess things up. So go back over there. And then go up there. Right, you carry on there and you do what you're going to do. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go this way. We're going to have a look at that other tractor here. Because it said it got stuck. Um, well, technically it did get stuck. It didn't really know which way was up, to be honest. And I'm going to bring this one over here. I don't know how well this one's going to work, but we're going to give it a go. I'll bring you over this way. And I'm going to go right up against that fence over there. I'm just going to, I'm just going to sort of drag it across over here for a minute. I know I'm busy cultivating up the, the track, which I shouldn't be doing. Not really. And I'm going to put you to that point right there. And then I'm going to press H. And you should go and cultivate that little bit of a field there. So if you can go and do that, that would be absolutely wonderful. You are turning round having gone through this field again. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just... I'm just as confused as everybody else is with this one, and apparently the driver as well. At least he's doing it. So then I will go back to this one. Right. We've already done a little bit with this one. We're going to do a little bit more. We've got two trees that we want to take out, haven't we? So I'll bring you round like that. And then I will go up past these trees here. Past the chicken pen. And Well, that's about all we've got time for in today's episode. So we're going to go and take a little bit of a break. We need to chill out on the beach, relax, and build up some strength. So while we're doing that, if you've enjoyed the episode, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.